Yo, what's going on, Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again, and welcome back to Monopoly Hut episode number eight. I, I believe this is episode number eight. So today, um, we have no homework to catch up on. Um, so we're just gonna head straight to the board and roll the dice for the first time this episode. Let, let's get right into it. All right, so last episode, we left last off on uh open one premium pack on the left side of the board today we're hoping to get some more packs here obviously the more packs the better we won't complain with the more packs we get so here we go we're rolling for the first time this episode and we get a three so three is open one premium pack again um okay i mean i think we got to change the board here man there's too many premium premium packs on the board and they don't really give out let me know what you guys think about that all right head into the store here we get one premium pack to open again i, I i'm not sure that we're gonna get anything realistically so we're just gonna open this up we're gonna hope for the best and if we pull something we pull something if we don't it's expected at this point to be honest man so we pull a robert hag uh okay uh 75 seattle player we're getting a bunch of gold players a bunch of gold jerseys and nothing to upgrade the team uh shocker all right so we ended up doing some sets because we needed to complete three sets so we get 750 coins for those sets there which is great and guys we got some very very good packs to open here i think so we did some sets where we get two gold players two premium packs and a 82 plus guaranteed so we're excited for the 82 plus guaranteed i've seen some crazy pulls on twitter i've done a ton of those and pulled nothing on my main account so this isn't my main account maybe the monopoly account has more luck than we than we think here boys so that 82 plus is what i'm very excited for hopefully we can get something more than an 82 plus obviously that's what we're aiming for here so hopefully that'd be very nice to do we did these sets because we needed to so we'll take that we get a colin miller i don't expect to pull anything from these premium packs like i said these premium packs literally don't give out they don't it's really rare when something comes out of these premium packs man it's just super hard we're gonna skip the rest here because i know there's gonna be nothing a bunch of gold players which is always good uh because we are close to getting an x-factor choice pack again um so here we are 182 plus guaranteed player 10 items all players at least five gold players and 182 plus player please be something good here come on boys all right we're still waiting for that 82 plus here baby Man, something, something nice would, 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 something to help the team is what I'm trying to say here. Come on. And it's an 82 plus Timo Meyer. Okay. All right. These 82 pluses suck for me. Timo Meyer's not even going to make the team. So no upgrades to the team. We're going to hop into the first game of the episode here. We're looking to get a better rank than bronze here. So um, let's win both games today. Get the highest we can get. All right. First game of the episode is 91 Matthews, 87 McKinnon, 86 Kucherov. This shall be interesting. All right, boys, we're hoping for the best here. We need a win to get some good rank in here. Uh, a couple goals for Panarin and Connor would be nice. Get them their upgrades, especially Connor as he's fallen behind. So let's see what we can what, what, what we can do here. Bang across Mika Zabinajad. I meant that I meant for that to go to Ricard Raquel. It hit off something. Went straight to Mika Zabinajad. It's a one nothing hockey game. Things you'll love to see. Kyle Connor gets an assist. It's not a goal, but that is fine. We will take that. One nothing for the good guys. And that is an absolute snipe. I couldn't get the puck out of the zone. Kucherov scores. It, it's one one. Just just like that. There you go, Eric Johnson. Still has his puck. Love to see it. Go around Artemi. The bread man. Looking for something. Elias Pettersson. Beautiful. Get that across. Pedersen, good poke. That's fine. Panarin has it. We're kind of we're kind of working the puck here. Artemi, bad pass. That's fine. Marshana, we tried poking that across. What are Vaden and what are my players doing? Oh my god, what a play from Vasilevsky. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. None of my team was back for that. Vasilevsky coming up huge again. Take it in, buddy. Brady Kachuk, take the shot. Oh my god, just wide. Sean Monahan, take it to the net, buddy. Across. Oh my god, how we didn't score there is beyond me, chat. I said chat like we're live on Twitch.tv. After one, it is 1-1. One, one. I am playing absolutely horrible. My ping is good. The game feels heavy for some reason. I'm just ass, I guess. There you go. Point to point. Headman. Nice try. Panarin still has it. Bang. Artemi Panarin's a beast. That gets him an upgrade, which means with the coins we have, we're going to have to go buy base uh, Panarin and upgrade him to his 87 i believe so good goal from panarin 2-1 hockey game let's go boys i need someone on my team to like kind of just kind of try and pick up the puck here kyle connor 
was right behind him and couldn't poke Drysaddle for some reason. It's a 2-2 hockey game. My my head hurts from playing this game already. Good keep. There you go. Hornquist across. Bang. Sean Monahan. I need you to one t that better, bud. Bang. Latang. Oh my God! What a save. A little bit there. Dude, oh my god, the Manny sauce that he's doing, that auto sauce up the zone is just freezing my defensemen where they don't turn around. It's 3-2. Legitimately one of the most annoying players I've ever played against, dude. Beautiful pass. Verhage, take the shot, buddy. And Carter Verhage says to this guy, it's a 3-3 hockey game. Suck a fat one. Eric Johnson, Kyle Connor, dude, for an upgrade. Uh, if only... Take a shot before the period ends. My God, how are we not winning 4-3 right now? End of two, we played way better that period in terms of offense. Defensively, we are just not good this game. It's a 3-3 hockey game. It, it's anyone's game going into the third period here, man. Good poke. Good block. Oh my God, I covered that pass and it bounced off Muzzin stick straight to McKinnon. 4-3 hockey game. I want to hit my head against a wall. Konechny. Over across to Buchnevich, man. And then I don't get that pass that he literally passed right into my skates. Oh my god, he gets every puck over me. He gets he l legitimately gets every puck over me. 5-3 hockey game. I want to hit my head against a wall again. Kyle Connor over to Raquel. Dude, we're not getting any pucks through right now. There you go, Kachuk. Get it across. Sean Monahan makes it a 5-4 hockey game with a minute 14 left. There's still hope. There is still hope. We are calling the timeout here, boys. This is our last chance to try to tie it up and force overtime. Ricard Raquel. No, that's not even Ricard Raquel. That's Brad Marchand. What a save. And that's going to be game. Man, that is unfortunate. We're at the silver ranking after that, which is always uh, nice to see. Looking at the stats, he did play better than me. He uh, Did he deserve it? Yes. I don't know why this game felt so heavy. It did. It's a loss. It is what it is. Let's just head back to the board and hopefully get some good packs. All right, so that game didn't go the way we wanted it to go. It happens, man. So it's time to head back to the board, roll the dice, and I mean, like, I'm hoping for some good packs. Looking at the board here, we do have a chance at some special packs. We've got a chance at a pack line, uh, buy any player. Um, so let's go and uh, hope for a good roll here. I gotta, I gotta load up the random uh, dice generator here. Here we go, rolling for the second and final time this episode. Give me something good here, dice. And we get a four, okay. And a four is open up special packs. Don't mind if I do. All right, so we're here at the random number generator. We're hoping to get that Jumbo NHL players pack. So first number here is a three. And the second number here is a five, all right. So three is a Halloween tree pack and then a five is a Jumbo NHL players pack. So we're gonna go with the Halloween tree pack first. 25 items, at least 10 players and a guaranteed 78 overall player. I don't expect too much from this pack. We're more excited about that Jumbo NHL players pack, obviously, here. So we got a Michael Hutchison. No comment on that one. Okay, let's keep it going. Let's see what we can get here. Hopefully something decent to help the team out. I don't think this will be the pack where we get something to help us out. So we're going to skip the rest. We do have... Is that a purple? I think there's a purple in this pack, boys. Oh my goodness! We just pulled plays of the year. Mitch Marner. 88 overall. This card looks absolutely insane. He has gladi Gladiator to it and Spinorama as a superstar ability. We get a purple. I did not think we were going to get a purple in this pack. What do we get? We get a purple. 88 overall Mitch Marner. Anything else to go with that? No, but that is A-OK. -okay. Mitch Marner is a huge upgrade to this team. Things you absolutely love to see. And the best thing about this is we still have a Jumbo NHL Players pack, which is 10, uh, which is 20 items. All Gold NHL players with at least 10 80 plus overalls. Uh, we get 50% chance of an 86 plus player. We already pulled the purple. That's three episodes in a row we pulled a purple player. That's insane. Can we get another purple in this pack? Let's see. Okay, here we go, baby. Jordan Eberle, who's been on a tear for the Seattle Kraken so far. Uh, Maxime Comtois, uh, Charlie Coyle. Come on, let's see something purple here. I would absolutely love that. Jordy Ben, Johnny Goudreau. Don't know if they'd make the team necessarily, but not bad pulls. Team of the Week, Bone Byram, who might actually replace... Uh, Sammy Vatanen, so that's not a bad pull. That might be a little uh, upgrade there. Jared McCann, Justin Schultz, anything else here, please? Gorgiev, two cards left, and nothing in that, but hey, we're fine with a Mitch Marner. Um, let's go throw him onto our team. Oh, and we also get to upgrade Panarin because he scored, so we're going to have to go buy a base Panarin real quick as well. 
Uh, but first things first, let's throw on uh, Mitch Marner onto this team. All right, looking at the team here, Panarin, Pedersen, Marchand is the same. Marner is coming in for Zabinijad and Connor, and Konechny got the boot on the fourth line. Patrick Hornquist will be taking over there now. And then on defense, Bo Byram is playing with Eric Johnson, the two Avalanche primetime players. Uh, quickly before we head into the next game, we had to go buy a base uh, Panarin if we can afford it and upgrade um, our X Factor Panarin. So we are just shy of a Panarin. We're going to have to wait. We're going to save up our coins to upgrade Panarin because it's the rule when we score. So we're going to have to wait to upgrade Panarin at least a couple more games. Fine by me. I'm excited to try out this Mr. Marner. Let's head into the next game. Second and final game of the episode against All-Star North, Suzuki, Fiala, and Nikolai Ehlers. So let's see how this goes. I'm excited to try out this Mitch Marner, man. Oh, this is my first time using him in Hut this year. Let's see how he plays. All right, baby, here we go. Like I said, we can't get Panera in his upgrade just yet. We got a way to uh, be able to afford his base card. Fine by me. This guy is in here to start the game off. So we're off to a flying start. Chris Letang doesn't care. Neither does our Temi Panera. Let's go, boys. Headman, get that to Mitchell, who's getting the first touch here. He advanced the puck. Over to Kyle Connor. What a save by Matt Murray. Kyle Connor wants an upgrade. Mitch Marner wants his first goal more, though. Mitch Marner, first shot on goal from Kyle Connor. Makes it a 1-0 hockey game. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with Mitch Marner already. What a first shift for Mitch Marner, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm loving his card already, dude. Plain and simple. Good stuff. Let's go. There you go, Rasmus Anderson, get a low shot, maybe a tip there, almost from Kachuk there. Sean Monahan, what a save, dude. Bad reset, what a save from Vasilevsky, dude. Another great save from Vasilevsky, need this puck, Muzzin, thank you. There you go, Brad Marchand. Sauce it over, Mika Zabinajad! Oh my gosh, from like an almost impossible angle. I don't know how that went into the back of the net. It's a 2 nothing hockey game. Um... Okay, I, I not to be a, not, not to be mean, but I want to see how this puck actually went in. What a shot, dude! Wow. End of two, we're up two nothing. Uh, well deserved. That second goal was a little bit iffy. I feel bad bad about it a little bit, but it, a goal is a goal. Over to Mitch Marner. Oh my God! What a what a pickup. I even Manny sauce that. Jake Muzzin's absolutely gone. What a pass. Back over across. Jake Muzzin. Oh my god, that just trickled wide. And a two. Two nothing still. It was a good period. Kind of boring, but it's okay. We like boring periods as, as long as we're winning. And Panarin's gone. We're dots flipping here. Bang. Oh my god, Artemi Panarin. You absolute monster. He is now fully upgraded for us. He's going to be an 88 once we're able to afford his base card. My goodness, Artemi, you did not have to do him like that, man. Look at this one more time. Ankle breaker from Artemi Panarin. This card has been insane. I love him. It's a great goal. And Marner's gone, and he wants a Datsuk flip too. Oh, man, we might have had him on the Datsuk shot if we just took the shot. Kyle Connor, off to the races here. Kyle Connor gets himself an upgrade, and Mitch Marner gets his second point of the night with that primary assist. Kyle Connor gets an upgrade. That's going to give him up to an 83, I believe. Marner gets an assist. Pan er, Panarin is going to be fully upgraded next episode, hopefully. Man, what a, what a productive episode, man. Good play from Kachuk. Muzzin over to Anderson. Oh, my God, what a shot. Brady Kachuk taking it to the net again. Oh, my God, that almost went in. Hornquist to Muzzin. Again to Anderson. Rasmus Anderson has got himself one heck of a shot. And Victor Hedman to Mika Zabinajad, and what a save. But Mika Zabinajad's still going to score. Another great save. My goodness. What a poke from Latang, dude. That gets across. There goes the shutout. You hate to see it for Vasilevsky. Make it a 4 1 game. That's a good win there, boys. Great win. Inching our way closer to gold rank. Not too bad. We complete a bunch of objectives, so that can give us some coins. And looking here, man, what a game from our top players. Marner in his first game with a goal and assist, two points. Panarin gets another upgrade. Connor gets an upgrade. We're looking good. And looking at the stats here, a well-deserved win. Looking here, we completed five objectives, which is absolutely insane. So we get a bunch of coins here, which is going to help us towards our boy Panarin. We get a prime pack for winning 10 games. And we get a base pack for scoring 50 goals in rivals. So things you'll have to see coin coinage is going up before we do what we got to do we're going to go upgrade kyle connor plus one which is absolutely great to see so i believe he'll be an 83 now oh no he'll be an 82 for 1500 coins not too bad so a good upgrade there next episode hopefully i'll get the coins uh to get 
um, our boy Panarin upgraded and once we get him to an 87 we're able to get him to an 88 as well with the two power up collectibles because he did score in back to back games which is great so Panarin will be fully upgraded but before we end off this episode let's end off with these packs here we got a prime pack and a base pack we're just going to skip them I don't see anything good coming out of these uh, just a bunch of gold and silver players as expected no big deal maybe something comes out of this prime pack I doubt it. Again, it's just good to get these gold players into the collection. We pull a Jamie Drysdale of Vlasic, and uh, that's about it. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's Monopoly Hut episode. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Guys, what an episode. We pull one of my favorite players, Mitch Marner, his plays of the year card, an 88 overall. What an upgrade to the team. Three straight episodes of pulling purples. Our pack luck on Monopoly Hut right now has been absolutely insane and we hope that it continues. But like I said, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.